Which autoresponder service should you use? A comparison of popular services. If you are going to run an email marketing campaign, you need an autoresponder. This is the first thing you should look into when you first get started, and it is what you will be working with on a daily basis in order to manage your campaign and ensure that your messages reach their destination. In this presentation, we'll look at how you should go about finding the right platform for your campaign. Perhaps the best place to start is by quickly taking a look at what an autoresponder is and what one does. Essentially, this is a tool that you can use to A. Build sign-up forms and B. Manage your emails. When you log into your autoresponder, you'll be able to see a list of all your subscribers and you'll have the option to send a message to all of them or to a cross-section of those contacts. Autoresponders make things easy for you because they handle the sign-up process and unsubscribing so you don't have to. They also provide useful metrics such as open rates, bounce rates, complaints, etc. There are four big names that most people will consider when getting their first autoresponder. These are Aweber, GetResponse, MailChimp, and Infusionsoft. All of these platforms do essentially the same thing, but it is worth noting that Infusionsoft is a little different from the rest as it includes a sales platform for building and managing your sales pages and transactions. This allows for some synergy between those two platforms, which is ideal for webmasters and businesses selling ebooks and other digital products. For more conventional email marketing, however, those options may not be needed. Otherwise, Aweber, GetResponse, and MailChimp offer largely the same features and benefits. The big consideration here, then, is the price. But this isn't as simple as looking at which one has the cheapest fee. All three of these platforms offer more complex pricing structures based on the number of subscribers you have. The size of your business will be one of the key factors determining which option is best for you, then. Finally, it is worth investigating which plugins you might want to use on your site. Different plugins will support different autoresponders, and so it could be useful to check that features you're relying on will be compatible with the autoresponders you're looking into.